Hi guys, welcome to Decoding for Kids. In this video, we are going to see a game, create a 3D T-Rex game, step 1 to 10, in a fast playing manner. Okay guys, this is step 1. Step 1 is simple motion. Give start coding. Here the instructions given here is, make the dino reach the coin by walking the path. Here there are two blocks. The first one is move dino forward block. I'm going to move this block over here. And the second block is when your dino is moving forward, a black background music will be played. You can choose whatever theme you want. Now if I click run, you can see the dino moving forward with the background music. Yeah, that's it. The step one is completed. Click continue to step two and give start coding. Here this is step 2 and the instructions given here is repeat the blocks uh, used to perform a set of activity again and again. Here you are going to move the dino forward continuously. For that I am placing the forever block over here and inside the forever block I am placing the move dino forward so that, so that the dino moves forward. Now if I click the run button you can see the dino moving forward continuously. Yeah, that's it and uh, click continue to go to the step 3 and give start coding. This is step 3. In this you are going to make the dino jump when you press the space key on your keyboard. For that the blocks I am going to use is these two dino jump block. I am placing it over here when space key pressed. And I am placing the next block over here. When your dino is jumping, you will hear a jump sound. Now if I click run and press the space key, you can see your dino jumping with the jump sound. Yeah, that's it. To go to the next step, click continue and give start coding. Here this is step 4. Here the instructions given here is create a list, list of obstacles that you want to add in dino's path. Yeah, here the obstacles that you are going to create here is cactus. They have already given that. So I am placing the cactus block over here. And this is nothing but when your game is running, you are going to place the obstacle at every 7 meters. Yeah. If I click the run button, you can see the dino passing through the coins and the obstacles. Yeah, step 4 is completed. To go to the next step, click continue. Give start coding. Yeah, here the instructions given here is when the dino collides with the obstacle, your game will be over. Okay, here they have given two new blocks when the dino collides with the coins and when dino collides with the obstacle. In the previous step, you have noticed that the dino was passing through the obstacle. That means uh, cactus. Here you can see if the dino collides with the cactus, your game will be over. For that, I am placing the game over music here and the game over block over here. And this is when, you, when your dino is collecting the coins, you will hear the coin collect music. If I click the run button, you can see the dino, when the dino collides with the cactus, the game will be over. Yeah, that's it. The step 5 is completed. To go to the next step, click continue. And give start coding. Yeah, this is step 6. Here you are going to create a variable of your own named score. Okay, here a create variable block is given. I am clicking it and creating a variable named score. Give create variable. 
If I cre create a variable, you can see three new blocks are here. First one is set score, second one is change score, and third one are just a score block. Yeah, before I click the run button, your score should be zero. So I am setting this block over here and placing this zero block here. And second one is when your dino is collecting the coins, your score should increase by one. So I'm placing it over here. That's it. If I click the run button, you can see the score being displayed on the top and increasing by one. Yeah, click continue to go to the next step. You start coding. Yeah, this is step seven. Here you're going to restart the game by clicking on the screen when the game is over. If you see when the dino collides with the cactus, the game will be over. Now, if again I want to restart the game, I'm going to click the screen and make the dino move. For that, here they have used if else conditions. So I'm placing, placing this if block over here. And when the game is over, you're going to restart the game. So I'm placing this block over here. So if I give run, you can see the game will be over when the dino collides with the cactus. And if I click the screen, your game will restart. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking the screen. That's it. Click continue to go to the next step and give start coding. Here in this step, you are going to create a dino world of your own. You can change all the background colors and the dino color to whatever you want. For that, first I am placing the set dino color block over here and changing the color as I want. Yeah, the second block is set sky color. Change the color to whatever you want. This is set ground color. I am changing it to red and set ocean color. I am changing it to blue. Yeah. Now if I click the run button, you can see the setup change. Yeah, it looks good. Now click continue to go to the next step and give start coding. Yeah, this is the final step. The open dino world awaits you. Now it's your time to create a 3D T-Rex game as you wish with what all you have learnt. Now here they have placed all the code blocks from step 1 to 8. So I'll just finish the game quickly by placing the blocks in the respective places. Yeah, now if I click the run button, you can see the dino moving. Okay guys, finally the game is completed. Hope you all had fun in creating the 3D T-Rex game.